Hello and welcome to this week's Brid TV News Bulletin. We're here at Bridlington's War Memorial because once again the town has held its annual British Legion Rally Weekend, but more about that later. First, 63-year-old Bridlington man Richard Glover has been hailed a hero after saving a man's life. A warden at Skipsy Sands Caravan Park, he pulled an unconscious man from the sea in Clandudno where he and his wife Mary of Ferndale Terrace were on holiday. He gave mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation before emergency services arrived. The 30-year-old swimmer is recovering in hospital. Two more businesses are closing in Bridlington Town Centre. Adrian Williams' DIY store in Marshall Avenue is shutting down after 30 years. Director Simon Williams says rent increases, town centre parking restrictions and pedestrianisation are all factors in their decision. Also closing is Yogi's Cafe on Promenade. It has been a venue for many social and artistic events. Bridlington is pioneering CCTV cameras in taxis to help cut antisocial behaviour and late night fare dodges. Ten cabs will carry cameras for a trial period of six months and stickers will warn passengers they're being recorded. At the same time, Liberty's nightclub in Promenade has installed an airport style metal detecting security arch to detect knives or other potentially dangerous items. Elderly residents in Bridlington's Alderston Court who've got letters from the council warning them not to feed the ducks or they could face prosecution or even lose their homes have received a written apology. East Riding of Yorkshire Council has contacted them saying their original letter had been a bit heavy handed. Ex-servicemen, cadets and those still serving in the forces brought colour and dignity to Bridlington streets at the weekend. The annual British Legion rally saw a return to the spa for a concert and on Sunday the traditional march through town from a service at Bridlington Priory. Lottery winner, 81-year-old Fred Harper of Bridlington says his win won't change his life. Fred of Bladen Road won £100 worth of Euro Lottery Millions tickets which won him just £7.40 out of the £100 million jackpot. Bempton Cliff's 200,000 strong bird population is changing. Figures show fewer puffins but lots more gannets. 20 years ago there were just 20 pairs of gannets. Today there are more than 6,000. Sadly the puffin population is down by about a third. Five local pubs have been celebrating being included in next year's campaign for real ale Good Beer Guide, some of them for the second time. In Bridlington they included the Marine Bar, the Ship Inn at Sewerby and Weatherspoons, the Anvil Arms at Wold Newton and the Board Inn at Skipsy. Today is National Older People's Day, so it's appropriate we wish Dorothy Peel a happy birthday. Dorothy, who lives at Westbourne Lodge Residential Home, has just celebrated her 106th birthday. She still does her own shopping with a little bit of help, knits baby clothes and enjoys a daily tipple of sherry. Happy birthday, Dorothy.